my gosh, Selfridges, and this is my last meeting of the year. Good morning, I wasn't going to film, and I'm gonna be very quick because there's a lot of music playing, which means copyright issues. But I'm having a business meeting, um, and it's with a beauty brand, so I don't look my best. Um, and it's in the Brasserie of Light, and this is why I wanted to, I've not filmed in this ladies' powder room. Brasserie of Light in Selfridges. Just have a look, it's pink, honest. Camera's doing it justice. Really difficult filming because of all the lights, but it's amazing. So, yes, this is a great place to meet for coffee. You have to book a table. Well, that went well. Look at this profiterole sticky toffee pudding and mulled wine just outside Selfridges. Oh, how cute! How cute is this? Look at this. Love that idea. Hello. Hi. And what's your name? Lemon. 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 Like the fruit. Oh, how beautiful! What a beautiful name. <laughs> Name's Adrian. How beautiful are these two? <laughs> oh my God! Happy Christmas, guys! Happy Christmas. Oh, yes, Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Well. Hello everybody. Um I just I feel like I'm about to deliver the Queen's speech. It's just that it is the last vlog of the year and I just wanted to sit and have a few words with you. Also, this is my new camera. Uh the reason I was outside Selfridges shopping and then I went to a meeting was I had to buy a new camera. I broke my camera when I was at Bailiff's Court. So Hopefully, um, this is working well. It's another, oh God, what does it matter what camera I'm using? So yes, new camera. Secondly, the hair. I can only apologize. I know that it needs cutting, it needs coloring. I'm rocking the side parting that so many of you suggested that you liked, um, but I can't blow dry my hair. And this is what I call swimming hair. I've just been swimming, it's a mess. But when you see me in the new year, it will, the gray will have gone, and the dark underneath will have gone and I will have sorted my hair out. Um, what it, I wanted to just, I wanted to say a few words to you because this, and I, I hint at a lot of this throughout the year, this, this whole channel started because I loved watching other people's lives and I am very voyeuristic. I love people more than products. I love watching people. It's why I interview people for a living. And I just thought, well, I'll just film my life. Never, ever did I think this would become a career. And it is slowly, slowly becoming a career. At a time when my career was doing this, due to many reasons, many reasons. The situation on local radio, at the BBC, my age, lots of things. So when I was doing this, my channel was doing this. And when I say my channel, you, you are the channel. You are what people, when they're gathering research, when brands want to work with you, they look at your engagement. And I don't have a huge amount of subscribers. It's taken me so long to get to 61,000. But my engagement from all of you is, is, is far more than many people who've been on this platform for over 10 years. Because you have integrity, I think because you have wit, irony, intelligence, I see all that in your comments. You don't take me seriously. I don't take myself that seriously. I do from time to time, I know. Um, and I never set out to be a role model for older people. The irony is I don't see myself as old. I just see myself as me. So, you know, the fact that brands say, oh my gosh, what you're doing at the age of 68, well, I'm nearly 69, is just by the by. This is how I live my life. And you've come along for the journey. And I just want, this, there's two things I want to say to you. I know you love watching Myrtle 
My mum, who hasn't been on the channel for a year, as I said, she has dementia actually, and um, that's the first time I've actually said it on here. And I think I didn't want to say it because I wanted to protect her privacy, but I really want to work with charities. Oh gosh, this sounds, what am I, I'm sitting here like Mother Teresa. When I have time, I would love to work with um, uh, charities who deal with dementia. I mean, Arlene Phillips, I've interviewed quite a few people who do, and I want to give more time to that. <coughs> Because I, it is a fascinating, fascinating is probably the wrong word, interesting disease, isn't it? Um, but Mutti is still happy, still Mutti. But yeah, but then she's almost 99, so, you know, she's tired. But anyway, loads of you, and I'm telling you this because so many of you leave in comments, this is what I'm going through, Joe. This is what happens, and it's the one great thing about social media is connection, connection, connection. I try and connect on the radio, but I'm re I'm limited as to what I say because it's not my platform, it's the BBC. On here I can say what I like, and you just connect, and I thank you for that. And, um, you know, as far as collaborations are concerned, and I know many of you get cross, but these brands, these big brands want to work with a 69 year old. This should be celebrated, but it's not just that. I had an email from um, Virginia who makes these blankets saying thank you so much. A very small entrepreneurial female company. Lisa from Elizabeth 33, the soap shampoo bars and, that, and the rope on the soap, just said, I've been so busy, Joe, with your subscribers hand packing their gifts you put your faith in the brands that Nigel and I would love to support because they don't have massive budgets. And when it works, oh my goodness, it, then this platform is brilliant because they can't promote on poster boards and across terrestrial television and all the rest. So influencers do have a role and I have to, you know, they do have a role. When I was an actress, I promoted stuff on terrestrial television in advertisements, much of which I'd never used, never heard of or anything, at least on this platform. You promote what you know and what fits into your lifestyle. So anyway, enough of that. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just ranting. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to say. Um, I'm going in now to do my show. Marisha Wallace from Dream Girls is on my show tonight. We pre-recorded her, so we can put a little clip here, Philippe, of her in the studio with me. Um, I love her so much. So you can listen to all my national shows if you go to BBC Sounds and just put in Late Night Joe, you will hear my shows. On Christmas Day, I'm on BBC London on The Breakfast Show. You can hear that on BBC Sounds. Um, and I hope you do, and I hope you phone in, because it's a phone in, and there's another connection. Um, what about the team? I'm going down to spend Christmas with my tiny family after I've done my show. Philippe is with his girlfriend Katie and I think it's the first time they'll have Christmas in his new flat. He's, he worked so hard, Philippe, so yeah, congratulations on that, have a great Christmas. Nigel, my agent, is in Japan, <laughs> lucky thing, but I think he might be back by the time this comes out. Um, and that's, my, that's the team, that is the team. That's who produces um, these videos. And also you give work to them by watching, you give work to them. And this costs you nothing to subscribe. So thank you if you have subscribed and if you haven't, please subscribe. On Instagram and on here. Um, right, the next clip will be Dave. And then all of you who sent Walking Women clips from Carnaby Street, oh my goodness. Men, children, adults, you send them throughout the year. We have gathered all the Christmas ones and we're gonna put them out at the end of this vlog. But we might, in the new year, bring out a YouTube short of all of you who sent them in the whole year. Just all of you glued together, walking across Carnaby Street. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to watch back on the other vlogs and you need to subscribe and then you'll know. <laughs> anyway, listen. 
you've reinvented me, all of you, you've reinvented me, thank you, and um, I will see you on the other side, so enjoy the rest of this vlog, and happy Christmas everybody, and I know some of your Christmases may not be happy and joyful, I always say Christmas is like putting a magnifying glass to our lives, all our emotions bubble up, the good, the grief, everything bubbles up, it's just a day, it's just a day, and I will see you on the other side, so have a brilliant time, whatever you're doing, much love, bye. Hi. Bye. Hi, Dave. Oh my gosh! So this is the last time everyone is going to see you this year. This year? Oh, uh, this what, year. What about next Friday? No, uh, next Friday. You off to Muscat? No, no, I'm not off to Muscat. No, next Friday. Pull out of some sun lounge while I'm snowing. working. Is it snowing or is it drizzle? That's my dandruff. Oh, don't say that. Next Friday, I won't be vlogging because I'm going to have a week off. Oh. I'll be here, but I oh, won't right. be vlogging. Oh, oh good. I know. <laughs> yeah, no, no. It's like relax next Friday. I'm always on tenterhooks as you approach that bloody camera. I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> here it comes. Um, no, so this will be the last. Oh, there goes Mel. Bye, Mel. Bye. Say goodbye. To Happy Christmas to my subscribers. Happy Christmas, subscribers. There you go. That's Mel wishing us all a happy Christmas. I'm going to get in. This yeah. is so for, uh, for my listeners. Mm -hmm. This is the last time they'll see you in 2023. All right. Well, uh, see you in 20. See you next year. <laughs> <laughs> I'm. Um, I'm. Oh my gosh. I'm. Um, absolutely starving. So I'm going to, oh my gosh, I'm starving. Yeah, I'm, going to, avocado. I'm going to... I'm going to... Is that Mel climbing into a cab? Sorry? Is that Mel climbing into a cab? It, Mel's climbing into a cab. Yeah, but you hear that, Yes, he is. Yeah, he usually has a... His mini. Yeah, he usually yeah. has his mini. So just very quickly before we sign off, how, I mean, London is deserted. Oh, I know, I love it though. It's never <coughs> How can you love it because it's your livelihood? Well, I know, it is bad a bit. This is so relaxing to, to fly, to go everywhere so quickly, no traffic anywhere. There's no traffic. It's, and, it's lovely and peaceful. And do you know, I can park everybody outside my flat, whereas usually I'm going round around yeah, the block. because it's space out there, isn't it? Now? Yeah. But can I just ask, is it like this all over London, or is it just the rich people have gone to their country seats? Um, no, it's sort of, it's, uh, all the, well, I only work in the rich areas, so I can't, I couldn't, you know, I'm not one to, I'm not one to talk to about South London. No, so Croydon and everywhere like that's probably still I've busy. Been, I've never been seen in such places. He's never seen in Croydon. Yeah, but I mean, I go around, I just go around Knightsbridge, Chelsea, Belgravia, and of course it's all empty, so we should have a bit of a mis, mis, bit, bit of an admission of a pointless exercise if it's empty, but... Um, all the restaurants, literally under where I live, are all empty and usually it's heaving. But then suddenly you get to Oxford Street and, and Regent Street and it's packed with people looking at the lights. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Listen, guys, I'm going to sign off here. It's a shorter vlog because this is my last one. Um, and um, we are now going to play out all of you who sent um, videos of yourself walking past the Carnaby Street woman. We have stored them all up. So we're going to play them now. Thank you. Um, I'm going to give um, myself one week off and then I'll be back the following week. So no vlog next Sunday. Please subscribe. You know, just grab relatives, grab friends and say, please subscribe to Middle Age Minx YouTube channel. It would be the best Christmas present ever. So here we go. We're gonna play all the walking people. It's sit back and enjoy it. Say goodbye, Dave. Bye, happy Christmas, happy New Year, see you next year. Bye everybody, happy New Year, see you next year, bye. Come on, in, come on up, come on over, for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together, for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three.